This right here is an engine that suffers a very common problem that is cylinder liner crack. Over the time, these the engines tend to have the problem then cylinder liners, they crack and they start leaking and you wanna have coolant in oil. A very common problem with the 15 engine cylinder liners, they tend to have that problem. In this case, this engine has a very unusual problem because we have rust inside the cylinders. See, we have rust, it's all rusty. And uh, this doesn't happen very often because uh, it, it, this is not meant to happen when you have oil, I mean coolant with oil, uh, because coolant was in oil, but that's about it, nothing else. In this case, this truck, this engine, suffered that issue. Uh, oil was mixed with coolant, and as a consequence, uh, the engine kept on running. Water is heavier, so our, our water stays always below the oil. So uh, the engine ran without oil and ran with water in this case, and the engine got destroyed inside. So the engine is completely locked up. It doesn't move, it doesn't rotate, because the bearings are completely destroyed because of the contamination of coolant in the oil. Um, that's, that's one of the problems. And this truck, this engine has many problems, just because a cylinder liner problem. So the crankshaft is completely destroyed, the bearings are completely destroyed because of the water, the coolant that went inside, and the driver or the owner of the truck didn't pay attention or didn't do nothing to prevent this problem or to stop the engine completely and uh, take it to a shop to get it repaired. Now, we removed the bottom part of the engine and we saw different things there and there. There is a lot of rust in the crankshaft because, you know, uh, water tends to rust components. And uh, that, that, that's, that is one of the big problems with this engine. And uh, it rust inside the engine. And that's very, that's not normal. That means that the coolant was inside the system for a long time. But in this case, we also have cylinders with rust. And that's what I was saying at the, at the, at the beginning of the video. We have rust in the cylinders. And the reason why we have rust in the cylinders is because these cylinders are cracked. All of them are cracked. See, this one is cracked right here. You can see the damage. The lines then go like this. It's because it is cracked. See, you can see it. This one is not. This one is. You cannot see it from far away, and this one is too. You can see it right here, the damage, right here. You get closer, you're gonna see the damage right here, see? There is the damage. You can see it right here. So, that crack right there is gonna pull water inside the cylinder because the cylinder is cracked on the bottom, so the piston is gonna push water to the top. It's normal, and you're gonna have coolant in the exhaust, you want to have coolant in the oil, and many different problems. Um, the problem was then this engine wasn't repaired on time. This engine was kept the way it is with coolant inside the cylinders, with coolant inside the lubrication system for a long time. And this cause the issue that now the engine is completely welded together. Now the engine is com <laughs> now, <laughs> yeah. now the engine is completely welded together with the rust in here in the cylinders because of that. So to remove these pistons is going to be a little harder, but no, it's impossible. So uh, it is extra work and we have to do. But in this case, the owner of this truck, because we have so much work to do to this engine block, he decided to install a used engine to the truck because it's going to be cheaper. We have to do so much work to repair this engine block because we have to repair the crankshaft or we have to get a, a new or a used crankshaft. We have to repair the engine block. We have to replace all the cylinder liners. We have to see what other components are damaged because of the coolant inside the, uh, the system. 
and and that is gonna be very expensive. Now, uh, the owner decided to get a used engine, which one is going to be very cheap. Like it was like ten thousand dollars plus the labor, cost around fifteen thousand dollars. Repairing this engine was going to be like around like twenty-five thousand dollars, thirty thousand dollars. A lot of work to do on this engine plus. Most of the components need to be replaced completely because they were all rusted inside, included the rocker arms, included the, the crankshaft, included the crankshaft, and some gears went completely rusted inside just the way this one is, and, and they couldn't be reused because, you know, rust destroys everything. Now, uh, this could be prevented and the way to prevent these issues is if you have the problem then coolant goes inside your oil system your lubrication system do not let the coolant sit in there as soon as your engine starts having issues with your cylinder liners you have to drain the coolant out of the the oil pan so that way it doesn't create rust if you leave the coolant in it that is going to be a serious consequence because it's going to create rust inside your engine and that is going to cost so much money to repair. Now, my recommendation to all of you is fix your truck on time. If you get this issue, do not leave the water in it. Just repair it as soon as if you get it, let's say you have your, uh, your truck broke right now with the cylinder liner crack. Okay, good. You can wait. Let's say you don't have money to fix it. Okay, let's wait uh, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, even a month. I think a month is too much to wait. But if you want to wait, drain the coolant. Open the drain plug, the oil pan drain plug, and drain everything completely, including the oil. Drain it completely. And leave it open because that is gonna continue on leaking if there is coolant inside the engine. And also drain the coolant. You drain the coolant completely out of the truck because that coolant is gonna go inside the oil system, the lubrication system, if you don't drain it. So that will be my recommendation if this happened to you, if you gotta wait. But my recommendation, my best recommendation will be to repair it immediately so that way you don't get this issue and don't, no, do not run your engine if you have coolant inside your oil system. If you start your engine and the coolant level sensor indicates that you have low coolant and you add another gallon of coolant and immediately it has a no coolant at all, that means that your cylinder liner is broken and that coolant is going to the oil system. And eventually the pump, the oil pump is gonna suck coolant and it's gonna destroy your engine the way this one is. So, recommendation right here on this engine. Take example of the problems of this engine. Don't let this happen to you. And this can happen to any engine at any moment. It doesn't matter if it's Detroit, Cummins, Mac, or whatever engine you're working on or you own. This could happen to you if you don't take care of your engine. So, right now, this is all I'm gonna be talking about. And um, I have different videos coming uh, different topics different uh, uh, um, different things that I'm doing on my shop about DB15 engines so stay tuned on my channel I have many different things coming so you can learn or you can understand different things about trucks so share the video subscribe look for me on Instagram and sideways thank you for watching